Good morning. Today we are talking about oak woodlands. Uh, this is one of the common ecosystems that you're going to find throughout California. And just like the rest of California, these oak woodlands are adapted to our type of climate. So we have a, you'll find these in dry climates, just like California, where you're only getting precipitation and rain certain times of the year. Um, also, there tends to be warm winters. And by warm winters, what I mean is it, it still gets cold, but you're not gonna get heavy snow on the ground or anything like that, um, especially when compared to forests that are out on the East Coast. Uh, so very common, you see these all over the place in California. And if we look at this California map, um, it has some shaded in regions here that are blue that are showing some of these oak woodlands. And you most commonly find them in the, um, the Central Valley. So very common ecosystem throughout California. Central Valley. Oops. Okay. Um, when you're driving through the Central Valley of California, you'll see it on both sides of the valley. And it, it you'll find the, that these ecosystems are in the lowest parts of the valley and going up into the foothills. We also see them along the coast because a lot of the mountain ranges along the coast are fairly low. So you can think of some of these mountain ranges along the coastal areas as foothills as well, because they're not high like the Sierra, Sierra Nevadas. Um, so as you, as you um, drive across um, uh, the state, um, all the way from Los Angeles area going north, you're going to see some of these regions. All right, let's take a look at some of the features of the oaks that make up these ecosystems. And there's a, many species, um, but we can talk about some general, some generalities with these um, types of trees. One is they have this big, huge canopy. Um, and if you've seen these trees before, the canopy is very broad. and very large, um, it spreads out, creating actually a lot of shade underneath the tree, which is important for a lot of the organisms that live in this ecosystem. Um, their root system is also, uh, it's uh, evolved to live in this hot, dry climate that um, we find them in. And when the root system starts, when we're just talking about a young sapling, starts with a taproot. So the taproot comes first, and that's just a kind of this thick root in the middle that goes straight down. Um, it's, it, you can almost think about it as like the trunk of the tree for the root system. Um, not all plants and trees have a taproot. Uh, it's just the oaks that we see this in pretty commonly uh, compared to other species. Now, when we get a little bit more into the root system, what we notice is that the roots of the oak trees are very shallow. They don't go deep. So they usually stay within the first few feet of the surface. But as they grow outwards, because you see in this top picture, they've grown far out from uh, the canopy. Uh, they can easily double the distance away from the canopy. So these roots can extend yet 100 feet easy on either side from these oak trees. So they go way, way, way out. And it's also a reason you don't see them all clumped together is because of this big canopy and this extensive root system. But as, the, as they move outwards, as the roots move outwards, they also send down what are called sinker roots. And sinker roots are offshoots of the main root system, and they just go down into the soil more. And uh, they're trying to get to uh, more water, right? So we have long periods of drought 
Um, so these sinker roots are really trying to take advantage of water that is um, trapped within the soil a couple feet below. All right, and then finally, we're gonna see two types of oaks in these um, ecosystems. Uh, one type is gonna be evergreen. So I'm gonna give you an example here, the live oak, which I have a picture of. Uh, they're considered evergreen, meaning they're going to keep their leaves or the majority of their leaves all year. So they'll have these green leaves on them all year. keeps leaves all year. Um, but they do go through periods of dormancy. Uh, and these, oftentimes it's during the later part of summer because that's gonna be the hottest and driest time of the year. Most of the water is gonna be gone by those that later end of summer. And so they'll actually lose some of their leaves. Some of the leaves will turn brown, but you'll still see some green leaves in among the branches. Um, and they're just not going through a lot of activity at that point. The other type that we see are deciduous. Now this one here, this example I've got is a valley oak. It's deciduous, so that's gonna be the opposite of evergreen meaning that it's going to lose its leaves. And in this case, they're gonna lose them in winter, which is the most common. You've seen plenty of leaves with, or plenty of trees with big leaves that lose their leaves starting in fall. So it loses leaves for winter. And without the leaves, it's not going through photosynthesis. So it's also going through a period of dormancy there. Uh, that's just some basics about the oak woodlands. We're going to learn some more in this unit about those and uh, just be sure to ask me uh, if you have uh, any questions that I can answer. All right, thank you very much.